What's going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. The Las Vegas Raiders begin phase one of the voluntary offseason workouts today. And I'm pumped up, man. I'm very excited to discuss this because there's so much that goes into these programs. There's so much work and detail and just in general, like there's so much that goes into this. And I want to talk about some of the players that are and are not there today. And we'll get into that a little bit later on. But first and foremost, I want to kind of talk about exactly what phase one of the voluntary offseason program looks like. You know, a lot of people think the shoulder pads come on today and Derek Carr is going to start getting hit and he's going to start throwing touchdowns to Devontae Adams. None of that happens today, right? Today is a phase one, which means that uh, the, the program will be limited to uh, physical activity, strength, conditioning, as well as check-ins and, and, and those type of medical things, right? Uh, but a big part of today is also going to be the fact that Josh McDaniels, as well as Patrick Graham, as well as some of our other coaches, get to start implementing their playbooks. They get to start installing their playbooks. They're going to get to talk with Max Crosby and talk with Divine Diablo and Andre James and Colton Miller. And they're going to be able to tell these guys, this is what we expect and this is how we do play X, Y, and Z. And this is how things work, right? So today is the first day that our coaching staff can start installing these playbooks. Now, of course, keep in mind, that will likely be them, you know, sitting in a room somewhere and, and talking about uh, this, this or that, right? It's not going to be to go out on the actual football field and start running these plays, right? They're not doing any of that, obviously. Phase one, very excited because football is technically back. Like, it, it seems like literally like a couple days ago, the Super Bowl just ended and we're already looking forward to next season. We're already looking forward to workout starting and players coming in. You know, and a big part of, of today will be the fact that guys will come in and, and get their goals and, and evaluations done, right? And what I mean by that is guys like Cleveland Farrell when Josh McDaniels and Patrick Grant came in, they would reach out to a guy like Cleveland Farrell and say, hey, this is what we expect of you coming in, right? You have two months. We need you to gain eight pounds or 12 pounds or put on muscle or do this or do that. And then they'll reach out to Max Crosby and say, we need you to do this and John Simpson and Alex Otherwood, we need you guys to do this, right? So today is the day that all of that gets evaluated. And again, I know two months isn't enough time, typically speaking, to get, get all of that done. But these players will still have a number of months until the training camp starts, right? When pads actually come on, that, that'll be months down the line. But phase one is the first part of the offseason that really allows the coaching staff to understand the work ethic of some of these players, right? Another thing that's going to be interesting today is the players that will and will not show up. Now, here's the thing. I speak to some of these players. I speak to some of the people within the building, and they've told me some players that will be there and some players that are not expected to be there. Now, when I say someone's not expected to be there, doesn't mean they will not end up showing up, right? So, so don't quote me that this player 100% will not be there. Uh, but a couple of players that I know for a fact will be there. Uh, left tackle, Colton Miller, center, Andre James, Alex Leatherwood, John Simpson, just on the offensive side. On the defense side, guys like Max Crosby are expected to be there. Jonathan Hankins is expected to be there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if Chandler Jones will be in the building or not. Um, I'm going to assume that he will likely be there. Uh, two guys I know are not expected to be there, Josh Jacobs as well as Darren Waller. Uh, Darren Waller is traveling, so I'm sure he'll be you know, back either later this week or whenever he gets back, he'll be he'll be back in the building. Not 100% sure what's going on with Josh Jacobs, but uh, if you guys remember, Josh Jacobs did not show up to the voluntary offseason workouts last season or even the year before uh, so he's not expected to be there once again this year obviously things could always change but we'll find out what ends up happening right some people have questioned Josh Jacobs work ethic I don't I don't necessarily question it I, I think he's he works hard right I'm, I'm sure he works hard uh, but a lot of people have questioned his work ethic and the fact that is that why he's hasn't had the same success as he had his rookie season is that why he's kind of filled the past two seasons because it doesn't really work out and, and, and put the effort in and i'm not talking about just showing up to the off-season voluntary part of workouts right there's much more that goes into it i don't really want to get into all that right i kind of want to just stick with the with the, with the script here right um but it's gonna be very interesting to see what ends up happening all the players that show up that don't show up and again, I understand it's voluntary, but I think it's very important for the team building aspect for all these guys to get, get together. You know, one of the things that I would always say uh, back back when I used to play football is that 
your season starts day one, right? Day one of when everyone shows up in the building, when everybody starts working out together, that's that bond that happens, right? For us Raider fans, you know, we kind of think about this differently than some of the people in the, in the building. And, and let me break it down for you guys uh, to show you guys exactly what I mean. When it comes to, to the team, the current roster, right now there's about 61 players on the Raiders roster. Out of the 61 players there, about 20 probably know each other. The rest of the players have likely not met each other or don't know every other person in, in the building. All right, so today is the first day that a left tackle gets to meet a, a linebacker for the first time or a defensive end gets to meet a safety for the first time, right? Today is the day that these guys get to start working with one another. Today is the day that, you know, if Jonathan Haken shows up, that Chandler Jones can look over to Jonathan Haken and say, great, man, the guy that's going to line up next to him is here putting the effort and working out. As opposed to, let's say, Devontae Adams shows up today and let's say uh, Hunter Renford decides to skip all the offseason workouts and only shows up to training camp well then Devontae adams now just had three months worth of not getting to meet and see the work ethic of hunter renfro and he may come into the season thinking something completely different of a guy like hunter renfro obviously those are just examples right but my point is is today is a day you start building to win a super bowl that doesn't start in three months it starts today today is the day it starts and again we're still going to add 30 more players before training camp officially begins a lot of those will be rookies uh, some of them will be veteran players that will sign and kind of give an opportunity to uh, potentially compete for a roster spot but everything starts today right and i think it cannot be uh, it, it can't be overlooked of how important it is again i know it's a voluntary but the fact that if you're committed to winning a Super Bowl, if you're committed to winning that championship, today is the day you show up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about the voluntary offseason workouts. Should players show up? Should they not? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.